evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I am your host. And to my right, of course, is Amanda Lamoureux-Smith. Hi, guys. Am I getting it right? Am you I are. starting to get yes, it right? Yes, you're much better. And we are coming to you live <laughs> from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV, and you're more than welcome to join us. We're at 617-708-3290. Dave and the great staff of BNN are in the other room. Stacey's in there giving them a hand, answering phones, making sure that... Uh, to get you right over to us. So if you want to share what's going on in your community or in your artful life, please feel free to give us a call. How are you? Excellent. You? Very well, thank you. I had a great weekend. I, know, I had a I great can't wait week to hear last about it. week. We went to uh, Booth Bay, Maine, Maine mm -hmm. and we stayed at the Spruce Point Inn. Spruce Point Inn. Yes. It was very, very nice. Yes. Lots of Todds and Buffies. Mm. It was very, it was way over my, what did I you guys would do? think of. It was very, very, yikes. Yikes? I was afraid to touch anything. Oh, really? It was, it was, it was nice. It was very, very, it was beautiful. I mean, it was really, really beautiful. Um, there was a, we walked into this, they're all like these little cabins. Mm -hmm. But they're not cabins, they're like, Cottages? Homes. Yeah. <laughs> and we had half of one, and there was someone had the other half. Yeah. And you walk in, and there's all kinds. It's very innate, very, very beautiful jacuzzis and Ooh. all that kind of cool stuff. And what about the weather? You said it was raining sometimes. It was sometimes. beautiful the first day. The next day, it rained all day. Did you guys get to fit in some artful stuff? We did get some artful stuff in. We went and we went down. There's a couple of different places uh, down. There's a couple of different towns in the area where they have a lot of galleries and, and things. So we did get out and see a lot of the local work, and uh, it was beautiful. Was most of it nautical? Because I noticed it was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of boats. Yes, boats, water, seagulls. Yeah, it's like you know, it's okay. And right. I, <laughs> It was all right. They, you know what they didn't have? What? They didn't have a guitar center. Oh, man. <laughs> so I could go and Striking hide out in with the Glenn. corner and just play for a while. But it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Good. It was good for Janice and I just to get away for a couple of days. You know, I brought my computer with me, and, and I shouldn't have, but I, I, I had some homework to do. But mm. Janice turns in around 9 o'clock. I take it down to the ocean right what and, better inspiration and, and sit in this in this beautiful chairs and i wrote a couple of songs did a couple yeah, of things it was nice yeah awesome. I finished a couple of things so it was nice what's the update with the city with the city cd the c <laughs> and the city i know you're gonna you keep asking <laughs> i'm curious i'm interested i know the name of the cd it's been named okay it's <laughs> It's called a it's a wonderful a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day. And it's uh, there's nine nine cuts on it, and we're done touching it. It's no, we're no not, more tweaks. No more tweaks. I'm not listening to it anymore. Good. So now I, uh, it's being sent away to be produced. Awesome, exciting. Yeah, I mean that last couple of minutes is is that last bit is very nerve wracking. I'm sure. See, you've been working on these songs for almost a year. Mm-hmm. You know, and you're inviting artists to come in and play a certain something. You listen to it. They send it back. You do this. You do that. Eventually, you hate the songs. Mm. You know, you've been listening to them and listening to them at nauseum. Right. And you hear every little tweaky little something. And, you know, you want it. You don't want it to be, you don't, you don't want, I don't want to listen to it in 10 years and hear that little squeaky right. thing again. So you go and you fix all those things. But you become, you get to the point where you can't really judge because you, you've heard You're too it, far you're into too, it. Yeah. You just can't tell. Yeah. So we did invite a couple of people to sit and listen. Right. And um, we got some nice comments, some, some very nice comments. So Good. I shut it off. I don't look at it anymore. Done. Done. <laughs> now the project we're working on is my, my, my rock and roll partner, Tim Casey. Mm -hmm. He's the Grand Poo Barrel Low Budget Records. He's got a CD coming out, and I'm gonna I'm filling I'm filling in all the bass tracks now. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, a for bit sure. Of singing. How about yourself, what have you been up to? So this weekend we had a triple thirtieth birthday celebration. Someone was ninety years old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three thirtieth birthdays, oh, all oh, summer oh, babies. Oh, so. Uh, we collectively came as a big group, and we Were went... Were you one of them? No, I'm about to turn 31. I'm a little ahead. You old bird. I know, God. <laughs> <laughs> Over the hill. We uh, drove onto Duxbury Beach, 
and it was so fun. We mm. had um, a little fire. We brought uh, like a table. We uh, cooked out. It was so much fun. We were there all night. Uh, we might have gotten a little bit stuck on the way out. In the sand? Yeah. You can drive on the sand over there? Like yes. down in Daytona type So thing? apparently there's a difference between four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. <laughs> Lesson learned. And you, you had all-wheel drive. Yes, correct. That's not the one they have on sand. No. <laughs> they all do not. Yep. But you made it back. We did, barely. We're very, we're very happy that you but did. But it was a good time. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Any, any adventures coming up? You just went and saw Slipknot or something, didn't you? Coldplay. So different. <laughs> Coldplay. I want right. to send you some Coldplay songs so you can eat your words. So it's not Slipknot, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I did. And, and uh, how are you enjoying uh, enjoying your your stay here with uh, the It's All About Arts gang? I love it here. I love the people, the atmosphere. We're very, very fortunate here to mm -hmm. have a great staff of people and these great people behind the cameras, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that I stay in focus or uh, that I'm in the middle <laughs> of the frame. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is a great place. Being yeah. in TV is, is one of the great... Uh, discoveries of mine many years ago and now if you're out there driving around in your car and you have to be searching around and you stop you're listening to WBCA 102.9 on your FM dial it's pretty we're, cool we're simulcasting on the radio it's pretty cool so we're on the radio and we're we're playing um, live here on channel 9 and channel 15 if you're on RCN and the show will repeat a couple of times during the week right Right. Uh, which is very, very exciting. And uh, we're, we're, we're just proud of the things that we're doing. And I want to thank you for coming on. You've added a whole new element. Well, thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, you know, if you find the time, go through some of the other co-hosts that we've had. <laughs> we've okay. had our adventures. It's always been great. Everybody's added, added a really Their own cool unique new, touch, new yeah. thing, you know, yep. which is nice. Uh, what we've got to do right now is we've got to talk a little bit about the great organization that keeps us on the air here. We're very, very proud of our affiliation with the Boston Main Streets program. Way back, way back about 35 years ago now, just about 35 years, uh, the then city councilor Tom Menino out in the Rosendale and High Park area brought this experimental program to the urban uh, setting, uh, to the business districts, and it was called Main Streets. And what they do is they help revitalize damaged main streets, damaged business districts. And Rosie Square was that. It was a mess. And uh, now they have a committee of people that work with the property owner to make sure that he has all the demographic information and he knows what kind of what the people in the area want. And then there's a whole other group that works with the business once they get into that storefront to help them with design and how they design their signs and mm -hmm. how to get through City Hall and all the permits and all that. And then there's the promotions committee that comes up and does um, runs events in the square and stuff like that. In fact, this past Saturday, we had at the farmer's market, Lindsay Straw mm -hmm. played, who is a phenomenal guitarist and singer. Mm -hmm. uh, I, she does a lot of Irish folk songs and stuff. She's going to be on the show in a month or so. Ooh, of that's yeah, exciting. So, so it was really, really cool to, to do that. Um, in the square. I run the sound at the board for the farmers market. So on Saturdays, if you're in Rosa, they'll come by and say hello. Please. It's always <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, but mainly the people that run this organization are volunteers. They do it because they love their community. So if you see somebody in a Main Street t-shirt and they're working at a table or they're handing out flyers, please thank them for, for Amanda and I, please, because um, they only do it because they love their community. So we appreciate all the work that they do. Absolutely. Right. Is there a Main Street program out where you are? I don't <clears throat> think so. No? So, when no. you're just, where, We're suburban. We're a little more suburban yeah. than here. Yeah, I grew up in Bridgewater. I'm now living in Rainham, which they have a joint high school. Um, but no, I don't, I don't think so. Did you go to the public high school? I sure there? did. I, I missed out on every new school. I was the last class for every last school before they built a new one. So now when I drive by the high school, I'm like, what, what is this? Look like, at this, this beautiful is, building. Yeah, if you didn't, didn't get, get to, to school on time, you didn't get a desk or paper. Like, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Was, was there an arts program and was there the theater and um, all that kind of ish jolly stuff? It, yes. No, there was. I don't, but I didn't really get involved with that. I did um, take an art class at PCC, which is um, during the summers you take classes um, as a 
junior high kid at the college who stay in the dorms. I took an art class there, but again, I What'd was... What did you call it, PC? PCC, uh, Preliminary College Curriculum. I'm, oh, making, okay. I'm making that up, but it's something, something Someone like that. Someone will call us and let us know. Yeah. Yep. That's usually the only time they call us when you've gotten something <laughs> Excuse wrong. Excuse me, that's not what this stands for. It. Wait a minute, that's not what it stands for. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but you two, you were you were involved in dance and gymnastics and, and cheerleading uh, basketball. Cheerleading basketball. I was an athlete. You're gonna love our first guest. She's an amazing dancer and actress. Yeah. And uh, she's gonna come up and, and talk to you, talk to us about you know, yeah. some of those kind of things that, mm -hmm. that, that, that are available in the communities. There's some amazing programs around Boston. We really hear about it. So yeah. it's awesome. But then, anyways, this is where, you know, Main, the Main Streets program, this is one of the shows that they support. And they've been with us for, boy, for over 10 years now. So we're really, really proud of that. So thank you guys. The other thing I like to talk about every Monday so that people can understand that being on TV and WBCA 102.9 on your FM dial, is not is 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 a building but it's a community and it's an amazing place where people get an opportunity to come and do community television and i love that yes access tv is something that the government and uh, that the federal government supplied for different communities to provide a voice to the people who lived in that community and this was the, this is bn tv is one of the one of the front runners in the country Wow. As far as doing com community radio. But the station you're watching right now or, or listening to is uh, Channel 9 mm -hmm. or WBCA 102.9 on your FM dial. And this is where people come with to do their nonprofit stuff, to do, you know, if you have a nonprofit, you want to get your mission statement out, you'll come here or do your programming on Channel 9. There's another station, Channel 27. Do we have, can, can we? Okay, you know, Channel 27 is different because you join as a member and you get to take, sign out the cameras and stuff. You know, but this, you know, why don't, why don't we do this? Why don't we switch the station over to Channel 23 so people can get an opportunity to see what's going on over in the other studio. Okay, we'll be right back. You know what it reminds me of? Ren and Stimpy always reminds me of, of the old underground comic books from yeah. way back in the day. It was, just, it was the same kind of thing. It was like people who... Uh, weren't interested in working in the mainstream and wanted yeah. to do something that they wanted to see. We did, we did the cartoons that we wanted to see. What, that we did what made us laugh, what we thought was funny. So that leads me to ask the question, where does the inspiration come from? Everywhere. Uh, it's, it's all kind of a mishmash of everything from Hanna-Barbera cartoons, Warner Brothers cartoons, comic books, uh, silent comedies like Charlie Chaplin's, Laurel and Hardy, uh, everything we watched growing up, you know, was a combination of all of that. So let's be, let me, have you ever seen something in real life and went, oh my God, that's a script? Uh, yeah, you, you know, uh, you remember uh, Sven Hoik, the one where at the end they, they're playing the game Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence. Uh, uh, and they, of course, they pee on the game. Ren pees on the game, and it explodes, and they all die and go to hell. Well, uh, I knew a kid when I was a kid who actually peed on an electric fence and got a little electrocution for his trouble. My goodness, is that what they're doing over there in Channel Channel 23? But anyways, that's the idea. Channel 23 is where you can kind of sign out your equipment. You can go out and do your own kind of programming, and they edit it together down in the Tim Timothy Smith. Uh, lab and put it on TV for you. So if you're interested in doing any of that kind of thing, the place to go is to www.bnntv.org. And what they'll do is uh, click on Jim Atwood's name and they'll give you all the information that you need to um, produce your own television programming. I mean, people are signing out cameras and stuff and going doing the local swimming meet or going doing the local pol political debate or, or the farmer's market and editing it up and it turns into a program. So. It's pretty cool. Yes. If you're interested in doing that, make sure you uh, Take go to that. Anything else? No. Okay, you ready for your for chapter two? Yes, I think so. Listen, gang, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn. This is Amanda. And listen, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes with the, our new segment, Motivational Mondays with Amanda. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds, gang. Thanks. <laughs> Do not go away. You're watching BNN TV's Channel 9 and WBCA 102.9 on your FM dial. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, gang. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And I want to remind you that we are coming to you live from our beautiful Studio B here at Boston Neighborhood Network. And you're more than welcome to join us. We're at 617-708-3290. Uh, Dave is in the other room answering all the phones, so give us a call if you'd like. Uh, one of the things I'd like to tell you is that this show will be available in just a few days on our YouTube station. Now, if you've gone to the YouTube station and haven't been able to get access, there was some kind of flubba dubba going on there, and I couldn't get the last shows up. But uh, two weeks ago it was up, but this one, I promise, will be up in a couple of days. We've already we've resolved whatever the problem was. Uh, and also, please go to our Facebook page and like us there. We're creeping ever so slowly to 1,000 likes. Who's going to be that thousandth like? I'm looking forward to that. So make sure you do that. But right now, it is time for another episode, another segment, another show, another thing. We're looking forward to it. I don't know what we're going to call it, but I think I know what it's called. It's called Motivational Mondays with Amanda. Amanda. Thanks, Glenn. I just am very appreciative to have this platform. Welcome to the second segment of Motivational Monday. So last week we talked about staying true to yourself and making sure that you have a supportive group of people around you so that you can thrive and be yourself. So we're switching it up a little bit this week, and the quote is, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So we've all been through things in life when we're struggling through it and we can't figure out why we can't get through it. We reflect on times earlier in our life when we were able to get through it. So it doesn't mean that you're not trying hard enough. It doesn't mean that you don't want it enough. It just means that the person that was supposed to be introduced to you hasn't appeared yet. So next time you're in a situation where you feel like, I really can't get through this, I'm really struggling, Wait for that person to appear. God will put people in your path that will really help you to move forward. Um, and also recognize that you will be a teacher for someone else. So really take that seriously. Um, and next time you do feel like you were put in the same room with someone that's helping you through something, be take it take advantage of it, take it seriously. So just a little bit about that. That was a, a Buddhist proverb. And so the uh, Buddhism has a Zen philosophy for it, and a lot of the big players are Buddha and Dalai Lama. So back to you, Glenn. Oh, thank you very much. That was very, very inspiring. Thank you. Very, very quick. You okay? Are you sure? That's great. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here. Uh, but right now, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to not only a good friend of mine, but a very, very talented young la lady. 
It's my pleasure to say hello and welcome to the set, Lily Waters. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Thank you very much for stepping in and joining us today. It's a real pleasure to have you here on the set. Um, you didn't even know we were doing this, did you? Nope. <laughs> no. So this is kind of a new adventure for you, and I, I'm proud to have you here with us. Uh, you are, uh, um, right now you're involved in, in a group that is, well, you just left a really cool camp. What was the camp you were just? Um, it was Walnut Hill. It, it's a school that's for dance and everything and has theater. And um, it was three-week program, six days a week, and my show was just actually Saturday. How did it go? It went good. It actually went very good. Yeah. yeah. Is it is it a group of different level kids? I mean, is it like young young kids, and then you, and are there older kids as well? Um. So the ages I think was from ten to like fourteen or something mm -hmm. like that. So I was on the young side. <laughs> you were on the, you were on the, how old are you? Eleven. You're eleven. Well, that's great. Uh, there's a couple of other things that you do. You're a singer as well as a dancer, aren't you? Mm -hmm. um, and you belong to quite quite an organization, uh, quite a, a choral group now. Yeah. Who are you singing with? I'm singing with Voices Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, How long have you been singing with them? I've been singing with them for four years. Okay. Tell me, tell me a little bit about the uh, the organization. What, what kind of performances and where do you guys usually get a chance to do your thing? Um, so we perform in a lot of opera houses and uh, we do a lot, a good amount of operas and. Is it all classical music? Is it like opera instead of like you know, poppy, jazzy stuff? Yeah, we don't do too much pop, jazz, and such. Okay. We do, yeah. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, I like trying. It's different styles. Like sometimes we'll sing in different languages mm -hmm. and such, and it's fun to learn that. Really. That's cool. I went to go see you sing at um, over in Brookline, someplace. Yeah. For the last holidays or something, wasn't mm. it? I was very, very happy yeah. to see you there. <laughs> well, you guys were great. I was very impressed. Thanks. I think that I didn't expect to see you, did I? No, I it was, was like not a complete to see surprise. You. It was yep. like, what are you doing here? Because <laughs> I was there to see another student. It was great. Yeah. Um, and then there's acting. Yep. You enjoy doing that too. Yeah. Well, what, what kind of things do you have? Uh, have you been in? What are some of the pieces you've done? Um, I know you were in a very successful program over at. Was it Fontbonne Academy? Or yeah, something? my dad works at Fontbonne Academy, yeah. and so they have a really really good uh, summer program that's acting and everything and so sometimes they'll they'll always make the shows but then it's just a really it's really good actually um so the last show i did at fonbon was um it was kind of like once upon a time but when villains got their happy endings and such and i was um me and my friend we were both like well the leads and such and it was fun because uh, Drizella and Anastasia, I think, like the stepsisters of Cinderella, we got our happy endings, and it was just. Oh, it was that's fun. an interesting concept. The bad guys get a good get, get something nice to happen to them yeah. in the end. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it. Well, well, this is something that you're you're fairly serious about, huh? isn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. Acting and, and dance, especially the acting. Do you think? Um, Which one? What, I mean, you get so many talents. Um, I think the one that I enjoy most would be, I love to sing. I, um, with voices, it just gives me an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. But then I love to dance, too. I dance at Boston Ballet, mm -hmm. and so um, I love dancing, and then I love acting, too. So. You've, got, you've, been, you've been chosen for an amazing part coming up this fall. Yeah, um, and with the BLO. You're going to be in common. Yeah. At the Boston Opera House. Mm-hmm. That's, that's incredible. You must be very excited about that. Yeah, my choir is um, uh, singing with it, but they were also looking for, like, a little Carmen, and my, my choir wanted me to be it, and I got the part, so <laughs> I'm in Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a little Carmen. Yes. That's amazing. Congratulations Thank with that. Thank you. I mean, that's... What is what is that feeling? I mean, we've got a lot of our younger citizens and some of my other students watching at home. Uh, what what do you get nervous? Do you get scared walking out on stage like that with all them people? Um. Well, I've done it a good amount of times, so I of course I'm always nervous about it. But when I get on stage, it just 
it goes. Something happens yeah. and you just all of a sudden in the pot? Yeah. How does that feel? Um, it feels it feels like I'm doing a good job because the audience doesn't know how it's supposed to go, but usually I feel like they do, so but then I don't usually mess up too much. <laughs> <laughs> so. Trying not to mess up is probably a good thing. Yeah. Uh, how many rehearsals are you expecting to go through before Common hits the... Every day leading up how do you, to the... How do you do this with a schedule like that? Um, well, it's... You also come and take guitar lessons with one of the best guitar teachers, I understand, in Marsendale, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah. Well, okay, so you're enjoying it, and I'm glad for you. Um, mm -hmm. What grade are you going into? I'm going into sixth. Sixth grade. And you go to school in? Uh, Jackson School in Newton. In Newton. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. What are, you, are you enjoying playing in the guitar? Yeah. You I, just got a new guitar, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I... Yeah. I got to tell you this. I got to tell you this. We're, 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 having our, we're having our class, our lesson today. Lily's, Lily's one of my students, and we, go, we, we work in my recording studio, and we, we sing, and mm -hmm. we, we record, and we play the guitar and stuff. She shows up with this brand new, beautiful guitar, Taylor guitar today, nice, small, perfect floor. She goes, I've written a song. And I went, you've done what? <laughs> So she said, she said, she's only been taking guitar lessons for a couple of, what, a few weeks, so not a long time. And all of a sudden, she sat there and she played me this great song about a friend of hers from school. It was just amazing. Yeah. I got to tell you, you really impressed me with that. <laughs> Have you practiced your E and your A, a minor? Not yet. Okay, all right. Okay. Just want to make sure. Lily, thank you so much for being here with us. It's a great pleasure to have you here. You're welcome back anytime, but I don't know if you're gonna, I'm going to be able to fit you into, my, into your schedule, but thank you. <laughs> Thanks for you being uh, available today. Okay. Okay? Listen, gang, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. We'll be back. It's only half over. We've got another great guest coming up. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Don't go away.
Welcome back, gang, to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn, and I'm your host. We're coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV. And you're more than welcome to join us, 617-708-3290. Uh, listen, don't forget that you can go to our Facebook page, It's All About Arts, and click like, please, because we're creeping ever so slowly to 1,000 likes. I'd love you to be that 1,000th like. It'd be fun. <laughs> should we set out a prize? <laughs> <laughs> you should set up a prize for that 1,000th like. <laughs> And uh, we also have, um, this show will be up on our, on our YouTube station, which is if you go to your channel and you type in the words, it's all about arts, and the number one will get you to all these shows we've been doing for the last many, many years. But right now, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to, hi, Regina, how are you? I'm well, Glenn. It's Regina Piantodosi. Yep. Piantidosi. 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 She said that so much better. <laughs> She's had to live with it for a long time. You gotta get that romance. That's true. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Regina, thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for coming and in. thank you. Did you find us okay all the way from Gloucester? It was a little hairy, but oh, I got it. Come well, on. I am a Bostonian. I was going to ask, yeah. is this your first visit yeah. to the big city? No. 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 No, no, no. no. I... Well, thank you very much for coming. And one of, one of the questions I like to ask are, our artists, when they first come, when they first come on, they get here. If you had to, if you were designing a website and you had to pull a down, a pull down menu that described the kind of artist you are, are you a landscape, are you a sculptor, or if you, if you had to pick one, what would you, what would you say? I'd say I'm an emotional artist. An emotional oh, I like artist. That. I like that a lot. Okay. Yeah. Well, what, what brings that? Because when I paint, so that people have an experience, what's most gratifying for me is when people connect and they're emotionally drawn to a piece. When they, when they feel that they connect, uh -huh. that's what it's about. It's not about what it is or how it's drawn. It's are they connecting with something that you've experienced? Well, when um, like I do boats. You were talking about yeah. boats earlier, but my boats are empty vessels, and they're floating in an ambiguous background. And what you see is it's the atmosphere around the boat. The boat right. is very stripped down. So it's, it's a, a bit of a minimalist, but it's, it, when you stand there, you can kind of get lost in it. it. It isn't telling you what it is. You have to actually use your imagination. And that's the kind of painter I am. So it's, Well, that's great. So where does that feeling come from? Well, um, I grew up in an... Um, a creative family. My mother was a, um, a master's reproduction artist, so she yeah. was very technical, and there were a lot of portraits. And, and I used to look at it and say, "How joyless that is! Yeah. It's you know, it's all yeah. about grids." And it, it was so. I started a painting about seven years ago, and um, I just started. You just painting. started seven years ago. Yeah. So it's not something you've been doing because it was you were surrounded with it all your life. No, she was so good at it that I wouldn't dare try it. <laughs> oh, that's Well, different bad. types of arts, too, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, I used to like to write. That's, where, oh, that's what that's I used to do. That's so, writing yeah. is, is all about. So it, it, then it just kind of peered down to mm. just verse. I like just small verse. That, no. And you said you were a lyrical drawn person, correct? With quotes and stuff, and doesn't, isn't that where you get a Apps. lot of your inspiration? Yeah. Well, sometimes the piece comes before the, 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 the verse, right. and sometimes the verse inspires the piece. And I work with like glass on canvas and wax. I do a lot of encaustic. I embed things. There's so many things I do that there's a lot of different ways to express myself, but it is a language. I feel that art is a language. Which is more difficult, to draw from the quote or to have the painting and then search for the quote? Well, when I say I draw from a quote, you know, like I'll have like the, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, you know, but you, you look at it and you say, okay, yeah, let me, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's not literal, it's emotional. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I mean, but there is there is an emotional quote. There is an inspirational message behind it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Um, we've got some of your pieces to look at, but before we before we go there, let's get a, some of the technical things out of the okay. way. Uh, uh, do you have a sp specific space? You have a dedicated space to work. Um, I'm one of those artists that can work in a very small area mm -hmm. and make a little bit of mess, but I could like work right here and make oh, okay. a very big piece. So, but um, you know, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing wax, you have to be well ventilated yeah, yeah. or you will die from yes. that. 
um, in glass. You know, glass is dangerous. I use blow torches. Do you have a kiln or you use a, okay? I don't actually blow the glass. I take pieces of, I use some recycled products too. I have a piece, I think I brought it, I showed, it's here um, on, you'll have a picture of it, but it's 53 pieces of recycled glass that oh, I found. So I do a lot of different, you know, sculptural yet almost 2D kind of things. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, I'm just real busy, you know. Okay, but you have a place on Gloucester. <laughs> yes, I have a little it, gallery. It's a gallery. Studio. It's a gallery studio. So you do work there? Yes, when people come to see the gallery, I am working every That's day. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. We've got some pictures. Okay. Do we want to sit? We want to look at them? You, I don't let's know. If, I don't let's know. see if we can get them up on the screen here. Let's check it out. Walk me way through. Ooh. There you go, right here. Oh, that's 53 pieces of recycled glass on canvas. Reminds me of mixed metals. Yeah, and it looks like wood, but it, but it, this kind of loses some of the texture that's there. How big is it? It's 60 by 48. Oh, boy. It's a big piece. I had to get it's my... Heavy. Yeah, I was going to say. It I had to get my piece. son to hang it on the wall. I couldn't do it. Right. But that's, in my, that's in my gallery. Now, where do you find the glass? Um, this is a funny story because I'm in an art community, and all the other artists know that I... I use all kinds of different things, so yeah. they'll give me all their junk, and I keep yeah. saying, "Don't do that," because <laughs> it makes me just crazy. So right, this was right, right. someone used to um, mat. You know, they they'd cut the th the glass f to put it in a frame. Yeah, yeah. So those are all little cuttings of the of Very the cool. pieces. Oh, that's fun. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's wax. This piece oh, actually sold recently. It's in Charlestown. Mm -hmm. That's that is. Um, let me see. That's 72 inches wide. This is a big, big piece. It's a lot of wax. And I'm only, you know. Is that uh, on canvas? No, that's on wood. On wood. Yeah, that's a diptych on wood. That's all wax. A what? Diptych. Well, what's diptych? <laughs> Two. Um, triptych is three. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Well, so th that's a really pretty piece. Oh, this piece. This is a diptych, too. It is. <laughs> See, I learned Learn quickly. Something. It's quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is a diptych, and this also just sold recently. And it's, um, it's, this is the first buildings I've ever made in my life. I, a lot of things are first for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fabulous. I love, I, I like the wiring up in the me back. Me too. Yeah. Isn't Imagine that cool? Is it phone lines or is it a bridge? Mind you, a selfie? That's it's very a, funny. That's I don't cool. know. You tell me. <laughs> I think, I think. Yeah, phone yeah. lines maybe. Yeah. yeah, phone lines, electrical well, lines. Well, the one on the right looks like the Golden Gate Bridge a little bit with the right. the loop de loops. Mm. Not that I've it. seen that in person. Do you so. work outside? <laughs> no, I work for my imagination. None There's of this no is real. There's no photographs. None of this is real. Okay, so it's an imaginative. Okay, yeah. that's very cool. Yeah, that's how I work. Oh, here's my boat. That's fabulous. That's a little. It's like a little wider than it is because it's a 48 by 48 inch piece but this piece is all about what's happening around the little empty boat i had a, a young woman come in she was in her 20s and both of her parents were artists and she said i cried over this piece oh my goodness yeah. what a compliment yep and she said that um she is the boat and she is the the storm is leaving and she's in the light that's what she told me oh, so wow. yeah and that's what i well, do that's it for. good and someone's being enlightened that's great I, I like, like that a lot. I like connecting with people as well. Yeah, yeah it's the best part. Cool. I agree. Yeah. Well, you you paint, so you yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little bird. <laughs> this is this is this is something that I've been doing. Is that's an original photograph, and he had a lot of friends, and I digitally removed them, and I digitally removed everything, and then this this little guy is painted with um, interference paints so he has a metallic to him. Yes. Mm. There was a there was a show I wanted to get into and it was called All of All of For the Birds it was called. And um, so I, I tried something different. So it's it's totally painted. It's a, an original work of art, but that's it's great. it's out of a photograph. I forgot I had that's, him. No, that's fantastic. He's a cute I little, like the color schemes too. Yeah. It, it, when you move it it gets a little um Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. And you've only been doing this for seven years, you say? A three years professional. Three years, well, painting. Well, painting seven years, yes. Yeah. What brought you to that? I don't know. I, I was mean, writing. was it something, I mean, I know you were writing and stuff, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, something must have happened that brought a brush to your hand. Yeah. Well, you know, my mother was living with me, and we had built her a studio, and mm -hmm. I would never go up there, never painted, but she got ill and my older son went off to a program for the first time and I, 
I started to feel like I think my second act is coming up oh, here. That's you know, true. yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> all the, all the, yeah. Yeah, all the signs. You got to reinvent yeah. yourself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's What's life without that, right? Mm. And where's that first piece? That first piece sold. See? <laughs> but 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 it, but I had to do more to it. Sometimes these pieces, that piece with all the glass, that yeah. took me a year. Yeah, I'm sure. It that does, wasn't yeah. something that it was like at one point it was all pastels. Yeah. It, you know. Isn't that funny the journey of artwork? Yeah. Are you able to work on more, more than one piece at a time? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. what's your main medium? I mean, it's, I'd it's say whatever acrylic. gets. You know, it's but, either acrylic or wax. Yeah. Okay. So you're not into the oil. You're not doing oils. I do not do Ugh. oils. I do metal leaf, which is like you know, like the gold leaf, the little. Yeah, yeah. That's fussy, you know. It's fussy, but it doesn't take five days to dry. Oh, I could, I'm I'm not into. Can you that. imagine? Did <laughs> you say I'm not into that? <laughs> I mean, you know, you no, got to put it out there. Instant gratification. <laughs> So you're able to work on a couple of pieces at a time. Yep. How do you put yourself into that mood from that mood? You know, it's, it's a, I think that um, depending on what you're doing, it, the piece needs to be what the piece is. And, yeah. and I'm very open. I'm, I think some people try to force things in a, in a piece. I kind of let it go where it wants to go. And so it's always pleasant for me. It's never, you know, like... How do you know when you're done? That's the trick. Right, that's a uh, question of the lifetime. It's intuition. It's just, yeah. you know, if you push it too far, you'll ruin it. Well, that's, that's, I've got plenty of those at home. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry. And, yeah. and, 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 I, and I, tell, <laughs> I tell my kids, because that's a question they come up with all the time. And I'm talking about fourth and fifth grade, just yeah. third graders, you know. When do I know when I'm done? Because I've got them doing all kinds of abstract and with throwing things. And, yeah. And I tell them, well, when you look at it, you go, hmm, I like that. Yes. It's time to stop. Yeah. Absolutely. That's exactly right. You and don't go, well, maybe I'll fix. No, no, no. Don't even touch. And you could always go back. Yeah. Sometimes I, when I bring a piece to where I can't bring it any further, I'll put it on the wall across from my desk and I'll look at it. And being in an art community, I have some great feedback. And oh, I have, boy. No, but the wonder, wonderful so. will come in. And I have this one woman who I love, Marty Swanson, and she's the artistic director for Rocky Neck. And she'll say, that piece isn't done. I'll say, yes, it is. Nope, it's not done. I'm like, oh. I love <laughs> friends like that. <laughs> but she's well, right. I say no. <laughs> but she's right, you know. It, it, so it's, well, it's it, good to have that, oh, that, that yeah. support, you know, somebody that you trust that can come in and kind of do that. Well, that's what I was talking about earlier with the CD that, that we're about to release. We weren't sure if we were ready. We brought some people in that we trusted and cared about, and they told us you it's are? ready. Yeah. So that's, that is an important bit of, of feedback. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, I, I know when it's ready. When someone buys it. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Oops. <laughs> when, when it goes off the shelf. <laughs> it's like, yep, that one was done. Yeah. Are you always working in large pieces? Or this? No, this is something new this year. Yeah. Well, of course, everything's new because I've been, you know, so I'm such a new uh, You're not uh, new anymore. No, I'm old. Seven years yeah. is great. Yeah, I didn't yeah. go No, there. no, I don't. But, um, but yeah, no, big is very, very different. It's very different. When you're working small, um, you can put a lot into a piece which it doesn't seem that way, but when you're working big, at least my experience is, it has to be more simplified because if, if it's too busy, it's too much. Now yeah. it's, a, it's too big of a scale. Even that brown piece with all the glass yeah. on it, I ended up, it was at one time very pastel-y, but it was distracting. I needed to, to bring it back to the geometric. How big is the red bow? 48 inches by 48 inches. Okay, that's a decent size. That's big. Do the sky first? Um, layered sky, but not the clouds. The, the turbulence was the last thing that went I'm in. I'm trying to determine when the boat entered. Um, right after I gessoed it. Yeah, I'll tell you, were well into it. Yeah. It, sometimes I hang them, as I said, and then I'll add more clouds to them, mm -hmm. more drama. Yeah. yeah. Are you originally from Boston? No. No, no. I'm I'm from Winthrop, East Boston, South Boston. Really? Uh, yeah. I used to date a girl in Winthrop. You did? She was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that she, would be a witch girl. She scared the Christmas out of me. <laughs> you probably I wonder if she's needed it now. <laughs> I probably did. Does, does, does Gloucester add to your inspiration? It's well, such a beautiful part of the world, yeah. you know? Well, I, I didn't do boats. I started out totally um, non representational. Yeah. And at the end of the first season, 
um, a, a friend of mine was next to her and she kept saying, you've got to do boats. And I said, I hate, I hate the dark. I hate, I hate all that information. It's, it, you know, it, as you were saying earlier. And I, so I finally started a boat and, um, and I got it on there and we worked together. She kept coaching me and, and I made it very, very simple. And a, a couple from Denmark came in and bought that boat. <laughs> and that boat is in Denmark. It, that's uh, a cool feeling. Yeah, it is. But, but so that started, that's the only shape I ever did. And now the houses was my second shape. Too popular. The health center. Should I take it? No. Sure. <laughs> Can you imagine? Sure. Excuse me, excuse you know, me guys. It's happened before, and it's been my kid. <laughs> you know, it's I quarter of seven, <laughs> and then no, they're just reminding me that they need something. Bunch of bugs. He's disgusted. disgusted. <laughs> Don't they know where I am? No. <laughs> um, you got some shows coming up. I do. Where are you going to be? You got a great show coming up with the city and the city council chambers, don't I you? I do. I do, and I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's um, let me see, I think it is um, in the fall. In the, it's in fall? the fall. Or three weeks, either you way. You know, we hung, we hung there 100 years ago, and it was great. It's a, the walls are amazing. Yeah, I would think. It's big. You it's know, big it's expansive. You'll be great in it. Your, si your sizes well, will fit really well. This piece is 90 inches. It's just, yeah. Uh, and it's three. It's a triptych. Did Michelle pick it? Um, no, I think um, I think Su Susan Schultz. Susan Schultz. Yes, did? Susan, yeah. So you're part of Canvas Fine Arts. Yes, I am. Yes, yes. These guys are doing great stuff. Yeah. Where else are you playing? Um, <laughs> you're the musician. <laughs> right. Where else, are, Where you else are you playing? Where else are you showing? Um, let me see. Um, so I'm going to be in a, a group show in um, three weeks in Provincetown, mm -hmm. and um, I have something coming up at the Design Center. That's great. That's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah, do you have a is. website people can go I and do. kind of check out what it's you do? It's yeah. com. Okay, yeah. so if you go to It's All About Arts, make it easy on you. If you go to It's All About Arts and go right to... ReginaPianadosi.com. Is that what you want? Say that's so low. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to Regina's name on the schedule, click on her name, it'll go right to your website. Beautiful. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay, great. I want to thank you. Oh, thank you so much. No, it was that so was nice fun. meeting you. That was fun. Thank and you. don't yeah. be a stranger. Okay. And uh, so if I'm up in Gloucester, next yep. time on my way to Booth Bay. <laughs> I'm uh, only the, uh, we close October 5th. It's a seasonal okay. gallery. I'm the May through October, and then I go down to Florida. And I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll catch so you. See what awful. painting can do for you? I'll ca yeah, it is, it is <laughs> yeah, don't get crazy. <laughs> well, thank you, Regina. Oh, thank Thanks you. for being here. Listen, we're going to take a really quick, quick break. We'll be, back, we'll be back in just one minute. So please do not go away. Thanks. Welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. She was great, it's huh? Awesome, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I love that enthusiasm. I know. You know, the, that 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 whole uh, yeah, I'm an artist, woohoo thing, and yeah. I think that adds to your, you know, your uh, creativity. Uh, yeah, I think it's interesting too. When she was telling her story, I, I related to so many different ways. She was self-taught, and you know, she is into lyrics and words and quotes, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's me. I've never had anybody, you know, say that to me. I bought their art before, so that was interesting. Yeah, well, yeah, cool. that, that's one of the cool things about this program is that we, I learn something every, right. every week. You know, something new comes up, and 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 talking with Lily was great. She was she was a little nervous to be at the, before we got on, but she held her own. She did great. Uh, yeah, and how old is she again? She's 11. She's Crazy. an amazing. Crazy. She's, she's an ama she's a very very talented kid, and she's involved in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, when we first started with the guitar, she'd only. She didn't have one. She played, you know, mm -hmm. learned a little bit. And I think uh, we've been, we've had about a dozen, maybe a little less lessons, and she's playing. 
and that doesn't happen, you know. So and uh, uh, she she loves it. She loves the microphone. You should yeah. hear her sing. I know. She's great. And uh, I'm, I want to go see her in common, but I think I'm only going to be able to go to one of the rehearsals. Or was something. that the play that you went to a couple of weeks back? No, the play I went to a couple of weeks back was Cinderella. Okay. At the Riverside Theater. Okay. I was a different student. Okay. I have all these talented students. <laughs> I don't know what what it is about that, <laughs> but I'm enjoying that part of it and. Uh, and we had a cancellation today, and mm -hmm. I had Lily, and I said, do you want to be on? And she said, yeah, sure. What do I got to do? <laughs> Cute. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Any plans for the week? Um, just schoolwork and, um, yeah, schoolwork and painting. and. You're going to do some painting this yeah. week? I really need to find a new location. I keep saying that, but. Do you guys have an open studio? Is that where you are? Not that I'm aware of. I was definitely more involved with it when I was in the city because there was more things going on. and um, So now that I'm in the suburbs, it's more of a struggle, but I'll get it done. Yeah. We've got Porch Fest coming up, folks. Porch Fest is going to be on the... Uh, thank you. Porch Fest is September, September 17th. It's uh, music right around your corner. Porch Fest is, means there's different porches around the community. And Rosendale has our second annual Porch Fest. There's going to be bands playing all over the place. I'm playing at three someplace. <laughs> I'm not sure. But it's, um, there's going to be an after party. In the after party, you have to have a wristband that you purchase or you pick up mm -hmm. from me. <laughs> it's the only way to get in. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here with us. It was great to have you. Another beautiful Monday. Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank Sound you. Like, as usually, it's a pleasure. Listen, gang, get out there and do something artful for yourselves. Friends of mine just came back from the Museum of Sin uh, Fine Arts. Mr. Kurt and Mrs. Kurt and Billy and, and Ruby, they, they reported in, said they had an amazing time. There's some All great right. stuff going over there. Might be worth a trip over there during the week to check it out. So get out and do something artful for yourself. And please, like we like to say every week, please. Keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please think about them. Do something artful for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll dig you next week, right? Bye, guys. Bye now.